Visit any of the 27 elementary schools in Louisiana's St. Landry Parish, and you'll find students eagerly doing schoolwork in a computer lab. We have to type with the mouse which way is the greater one. I like computers because you can do a lot of stuff on them. You can do math and reading. Right now I'm doing a reading chapter one thing. And it's pretty fun. It teaches like how to put cause and effect together and pictures in the store and find the main idea. It's in this low-income rural community, about an hour west of Baton Rouge, where you'll find the state's first, most comprehensive district-wide instructional technology program. Each elementary school is outfitted with a computer lab like this one at Leonville Elementary School, which has 27 workstations. At some schools, you'll find a double lab with more than 60 stations, like this one at Central Middle School. The district-wide technology program came at a cost of roughly $500 for each of its 10,000 elementary school students in its first year, which included the price of software, hardware, staff training, and the building of lab facilities. School employees here say it's money well spent. This has really helped to individualize instruction and it works so well and it does it so quickly, whereas if I were a teacher without a computer, I would have to individualize 24, 25 different lessons. The children are the, are the basic ones that are affected by all of this. They're the ones that really come out ahead, and it's exciting to us and to our teachers. It's wonderful. Student performance on state test scores has improved by as much as 10 percent in some subjects during the last three years. Our students traditionally scored either at or below the national average prior to the installation of the Johnson uh, Labs. However, in the two years that full implementation took place, we noticed that the assessment scores now are at or above the national level in all of the subject areas, uh, reading, uh, English language arts, mathematics, science, and social studies. So we know that the program is working. So how did St. Landry Parish implement technology effectively on such a large scale? And can this be replicated in other school districts? Former Superintendent Raymond Fontenot says effective integrated technology in schools and improved test scores can be a reality for every school district. Yes, I, I think that this program uh, can, can be duplicated uh, in other districts. Fontenot uh, spearheaded the push for technology in St. Landry Parish. After identifying a dependable funding source, school officials say there were seven key steps, which enabled the district to bring technology into schools on a large scale. The first step in the process was to make the project a group effort. I think a, a key element uh, here is to uh, involve people. Uh, the superintendent and maybe his central office staff uh, uh, will have a difficult time getting this by the board I think uh, without involving and, and have, having a shared uh, decision making by a lot of different people. In 1992, it became clear that the school district was to receive a large sum of money from a lawsuit filed against the state of Louisiana. That was when Fontenot decided it would be a good time to conduct a study on how to make the most effective use of those funds. So he appointed a 22-member committee made up of teachers, administrators, and principals from St. Landry Parish to do the research. The principal of Central Middle School was on that committee. He says an important second step in the process was to conduct a thorough study. Did a survey of the uh, um, employees in the parish, the teachers and the support staff and things of that nature to find out exactly what their ideas were in terms of uh, how the parish could utilize the money. Uh, we tried to visit as many school sites as we could to find out exactly what was being used in all of the schools and then make a comparison. Because uh, if you have the money, the vendors are going to come out there to make sure that you get what you need. But the third key step thing, was to give the committee a clear sure goal, that and that was to find a way to greatly affect them. student and, achievement. Uh, I really gave them one charge. Just assume that money is no object, and uh, I want you to recommend to me what would have the most positive effect on the learning of children in this school district. Uh, and they went to work and did a lot of research. It took uh, over a year before they made a recommendation to me. And that the committee recommended that the best way to impact learning was to use technology in schools. 
During the research, the committee concluded that computer labs were more effective at improving student achievement rather than having a computer in each classroom. So we figured that this was probably the best way that we can impact the vast majority of our students in elementary schools by putting the labs in every school. If we figured that the largest class was a class of 30 kids, we could put 30 computers in a classroom or in a school, and all of the children in that elementary school could be serviced if they uh, schedule uh, their children in the lab in a proper manner. And so I, I felt, uh, again, in the, in the most important part, uh, was that the kids would have immediate access to this technology. Uh, we figured we had a high percentage of, of teachers in, in our district that uh, it would be a hard sell to get them to use it immediately. And therefore these kids would not benefit immediately. Whereas if you had them going into a lab with a trained person right off, uh, they would. As part of the goal to impact children's learning, Fontenot felt it was important in their technology plan to have computer labs up and running for all the elementary schools at the same time. He felt this was a crucial fourth step, which was to ensure that the plan would provide equal access to computers for each student from kindergarten to the sixth grade. And I think a, a major decision uh, here, I had originally planned to pay as, as we went and start out with uh, just the number of uh, labs that we could afford to pay for that particular year and phase them in over probably a five-year period. I didn't think it was fair for uh, kids that lived in one district to, to have it in, not a, in one area and, and, and not another. So uh, we went ahead and worked out a financial deal where uh, we purchased the stuff or we rented the stuff and we paid for it over a five-year period. The 22-member committee was given another task after they decided the funds would be most effectively spent on technology in the form of computer labs. They were asked to find the best software available before deciding on hardware. Well, uh, the software is, is the heart of the thing. You know, there's, there's a lot of uh, hardware around, uh, but I think, first of all, you, you have to decide what you want to do. What, uh, what do you want accomplished uh, in your school district as far as student learning and student achievement is concerned? And then you have to match whatever your vision or your goals or your needs are to whatever's out there, if it's Jostens or whoever else. And when you find that match, then, then that's the, the most important part of this whole process is, is the, uh, the software and what, what can it do for your students. Two and a half years after the committee was formed, the school board accepted the recommendations. It was the district's first major move to integrate technology into schools. Administrators say the fifth step involved developing an infrastructure to house and hook up the computer labs. And in most of our schools, we didn't have uh, a room to, to put the computers in. We couldn't just, uh, we didn't have a computer lab just sitting there empty. And so we, we had to move things around and, and in a lot of cases uh, build uh, computer labs or get portable buildings and move class from, uh, classes into these labs and develop, uh, and all this is is a major undertaking uh, as, as well as the wiring uh, is concerned. A sixth key step was to develop a partnership with vendors. Uh, we met with each one of the principals uh, in meetings, countless meetings, with vendors, the electricians, the uh, people who were going to do the wiring, the hardware, the software, Jostens, and uh, everyone knew from the very beginning you know, what their role in this scenario was going to be. And I think this cooperation led in large measure to the success of our labs. St. Landry Parish officials say training the entire staff on how to use the labs was the seventh and final essential step needed to build a good technology implementation program. Uh, each principal spent a day going through the Jostens program, going through both the curriculum as well as the management system so that they could, ha could have an overview of what the program entailed. This was followed by two weeks of intense staff development for the lab facilitators. And we um, worked with them uh, with both the hardware as well as the software. And finally, we had staff development for the teachers. And Although the plan satisfied the most members in the district, there were some who remained critics, but not for long. Well, my first thoughts were that uh, I had doubts about the computer lab. Well, the feelings that I had was that how could one lab service so many kids without the 
teacher in the classroom. So after uh, I saw a few of the labs in, in action, um, I saw what the labs could do. I saw what the labs could print out and present to the teachers. I saw where these different labs, no matter what textbook you were using, that the lab could, could be programmed to, to work on basically almost anything that you're presenting in the classroom. And uh, now I'm advocate of the, the computer lab. I think they're very beneficial to the school. After three years of improved test scores for its K through six students, St. Landry Parish is gearing up for another challenge. A new state test and new standards will mean some changes in the curriculum and computer lab lessons. So then it's going to, it's going to mean working a little harder to, to, to keep the test scores at the same level as they are now because the, the bar has been raised. So we, we feel that with the use of the computers, the labs, uh, it'll be easier for us, to, for us to reach that height. We feel that the students are going to keep the, keep the same rate or can, will be able to compare uh, in the same manner as they are now with, uh, with the other students tested. With the positive results achieved at the elementary level, St. Landry Parish is looking forward to expanding the role of technology in the district even further. The district plans to outfit its junior high schools with computer labs and place computers in every classroom throughout the parish. Each lab and classroom will have local area network capability within each school and wide area network capability between schools. They also plan to provide all their labs with internet connectivity. In the meantime, St. Landry Parish expects to continue to see student gains through their effective implementation of technology.